What is going on, YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Y. This is episode number 30, and before we get started in today's episode, as we are getting into a battle here against the Hex Maniac, I believe she has like a Pumpkaboo or a Phantump or something like that. Uh, yeah, Pumpkaboo. All right. Anyway, before we get too far into this episode, just would like to remind you guys of our like goal for this video, which is 50 likes, so if you can, please click that like button because it does help out a lot. Now, last episode, we started off uh, exploring Route 15. We made ourselves, or made ourselves, yeah, that's good English. We made our way over to the Lost Hotel, did some exploration in that, picked up some items, battled some trainers, you know, it was a lot of fun. Uh, now, this route, which we're on right now, which is Route 16, goes all the way to Lumio City. I know in the last episode I was calling it Castelia City. I don't know why I have Gen 5 just like in my brain right now. I'm not sure what is going on with that, but it does go down to Lumio City, and uh, we don't have anything else that I want to do there right now, I don't think. So uh, once we get there, we'll turn around and head back um, up Route 16 the way we came and make a right over by uh, where Route 16 and Route 15 kind of intersect because that little pathway takes us to Dendemil Town, and then we will eventually get to the Frost Cavern, and I would like to get uh, as close as possible to actually starting to do things in the Frost Cavern in this episode as possible. So we, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, this ranger here had a Sligu. We took it out in one hit with a Dragon Claw because it's a pure Dragon type, and Haxorus just poops on everything in this game, basically, because it gets Poison Jab, too, so it just demolishes fairies that would resist its Dragon Claw. So we're picking up a Lumberry here. I have to remember to come back here and pick up more Lumberries because uh, it's just, it's easier for me than trying to remember to like grow them because I just, I just, I don't know. I don't really grow berries in this generation. I really haven't gotten into it too much. Anyway, we picked up a big mushroom, which was a hidden item there. We can sell that for some decent moolah. And we battle all these people. I guess there's nothing else for us to get up here. We need to go down those stairs, I'm thinking. Unless I'm just crazy. That's the Lumberry over there to the right. We battled you. Yep, yeah, looks like we're going down the stairs. So I'm guessing this is going to be a double battle. Uh, so let's see who we want to be in that. I guess we'll switch Whiskers out for Calpe the second, which is our Lucario. And it's lagging a little bit behind as far as levels go. I think it's only at level 46. So that is that. Mysterious Sisters! And I only want to try to say those names because they just look painful. So we are up against a Gardevoir and an Alakazam. Wow, the power is real. Both of them are level 40. We've got our Haxorus here and our Kalpe the second, who's actually at level 48, almost level 49. I don't know why I thought it said 46. Apparently, I cannot read. Now, uh, I can go for a Poison Jab on the Gardevoir because it is Fairy-type this generation, so that should take it out. And we can go for a Shadow Claw with our Lucario on the Alakazam, and that should uh, just get us through this battle. Both of these Pokemon have very poor physical defensive stats, and uh, I guess average or a little bit above average on the specially defensive side. Uh, but they also both have subpar HP stats as well, so physical attacks just really ruin their day. There's the Shadow Claw, even though it's not stabbed, it does take out the Alakazam, and we didn't Mega either, so that is that is saying something. There goes the Mysterious Sisters, and that was, that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So now we can continue on our way. It looks like we need strength here, but luckily we have it because I have my HM Slave, Hawlucha. I really wish that thing was shiny. Now that I've seen shiny Hall Lucha, I just, I don't know, once you go shiny, you never go back, I guess. It's shiny uh, colors are just absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and use a Super Repel so I don't get soren by wild Pokemon, because that is always what happens whenever I enter an area where you can find wild Pokemon, be it a cave or just in grass, just in general. They just swarm on me like you cannot believe. Uh, luckily, we have Cut here as well, although it doesn't look like we can do anything over there because we need Waterfall, and I don't have that yet. I believe you need the 8th Gym Badge to even use Waterfall in the first place, so it wouldn't matter if I had the HM or not. So we're up against a Fairy Tail Girl here who's going to start off with Clefki, the Steel and Fairy type. I've got my Haxorus out here, 
And this is a bit unfortunate because this is the one typing that really just walls Haxorus when it's not carrying EQ, which mine is not because we haven't gotten the uh, TM for that, I don't think. Unless I'm just crazy and missed it. Anyway, we're going to go into Whiskers here because we resist both of its stabs. It's going to go for the Imprison, which does absolutely nothing because we do not carry the same moves that a Clef Key does. At least I hope not. Uh, we're going to go for the Flamethrower. That's going to be super effective. And this thing is only at level 37. So it just goes down. I think even at level 47, that may have one shot at it. Anyway, Mawile is coming in next. So another Steel and Fairy type. We're sticking with Whiskers. Whiskers is very reliable with the Hyper Voice and Flamethrower combo. Not a lot of things resist both of those moves. Rock types are really the only thing that come to mind. Unless I'm missing something. What else resists fire? Water and... Yeah, water is not resistant to normal. So I'm, I'm not seeing much is... Uh, I'm not seeing that much is able to wall those stabs. My goodness, sometimes I just cannot speak. And by sometimes, I mean quite often. It happens to me just about in every recording. I just cannot formulate sentences correctly. I cannot do the English. So we're going to uh, push this little boulder in, and I'm not sure what this leads us to. Oh, look, an item, a fist plate. So that increases the power of fighting type moves. It also helps us transform Arceus into a fighting type. And there's a rare candy hidden in this rock right here, which apparently just you can't see candies when they're hidden in rocks. It's just, just, I don't know. I don't know, but we got it. And it looks like there's not a whole lot else over here. This is the beginning of Route 16. That is the entrance to Castellia. Not Castellia. Don't say Castellia. Stop it with the Castellia nonsense. It's Lumios. Need to, like, I don't know. I need to, like, set up some kind of, like, shock therapy where I can just shock myself every time I say Castellia. It's not Castellia. Oh, all right. So this guy is talking about uh, Magikarp records, basically. I'm not going to get into that because all he gives you is dive balls, and that's really not that important at all. Really, really not that important. So we can uh, talk to these guys because all these fishermen, I believe, battle you. So we could use the experience. We could use the money, although fishermen never give you any money. They're notorious for being poor and cheap and all of that stuff. But we could use the experience. So... We're going to battle them anyway. Whisk Cash is going to be what our opponent starts off with. Level 40. And I don't know that we can one-shot this thing, but we are going to try with the Dragon Claw. There's no point in going for Dragon Dance. And it actually just does take out this Whisk Cash. So, goodbye. Yet another Pokemon. I've been seeing a lot throughout this playthrough. I'm like, oh, I want to try out that competitively. Oh, I want to try out this competitively. But when you don't gen stuff, and you're not just using, like, cheating methods to get Pokemon really fast... It's difficult to get them bred and then remember everything. I should make a list of all the Pokemon I want to try and then start breeding a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud here. I don't know what exactly I was uh, meaning to talk about with that. But we have another battle right here, right now, against another Fisherman. Fisherman Wade, and he has two Pokemon this time, starting off with Poliwhirl. And for some reason, every time I see Poliwhirl, I, as a kid, I had like a little, like a, a Poliwhirl plushy thing. I don't know, way back when, you know, in the 90s, like forever ago, I had a little Poliwhirl plushy, and my dad had no idea what Pokemon was really. Like, he didn't really know any of their names, just Pikachu and Squirtle for some reason. But he always used to think that Poliwhirl's name was Tiltawhirl. So now every time I see Poliwhirl, I'm like, oh, it's Tiltawhirl, ha ha ha, such a stupid name for a Pokemon. Such a stupid name for a Pokemon, Tiltawhirl, what the hell. Anyway, uh, don't, don't mind me, he has another Polypearl here, Polypearl, Poliwhirl here, and it just goes down to a Dragon Claw. So, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a quick battle. He had two Pokemon, but they were both Poliwhirls. Interesting. So we have another fisherman over here. I can see a place where you can use waterfall, but obviously we cannot get involved with that kind of stuff right now. Uh, we have to get a few more badges before we do that. And uh, we're going to go up against a Basculin here. So it's only level 38. I'm really not afraid of this thing whatsoever. And even if it was 10 levels higher, I still would not be afraid of it because Haxorus is a monster. Dragon Claw just destroys everything. It really does. It makes grinding so much easier. And fighting these weaker trainers, it just makes it makes my life so much easier. He's trying to learn Swords Dance again, 
and I do not want to teach that to him because I prefer Dragon Dance. Just a better move for Haxorus. Anyway, uh, Basculin's coming out. Next, probably the other form. Yep, the blue stripe and all that stuff. Let's go for Dragon Claw again. I know we're running out of PP, but I don't think we have that many more trainers before we can heal up, if any. This might be the last trainer. So Basculin just dies to that. Everybody's going to get experience. Shinobi, our beloved Greninja, is going to grow up to level 50. So most of our team is closing in on or is already at level 50 right now. So we are in good shape as far as the levels go. And I feel like there should be a hidden item over here, but apparently there's no hidden item. Just one singular dive ball hanging out in the corner. So we're going to pick that up. And it looks like we are finished with Route 16, unless I just brain farted and missed something, because I thought I went everywhere there is to go, except for the waterfall stuff. Uh, looks like we are done here, so let's head on through the walkway, or doorway, whatever you want to call it, into Lumio City. I did not call it Castellia City that time. I wanted to. I really wanted to. I had to stop myself. No items, no items, no items, no items. This guy saw the nine-foot-tall man. And uh, what did you have to say? Nothing. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to Lumio City. And I don't even know what section of town this is. This is uh, North Boulevard. All right. Is there a Pokemon Center around here somewhere? Uh, doesn't look like I mean, there's one on North Boulevard, but I don't know exactly what all this stuff is. Lumio Station, the Battle Institute, so that's uh, great, but we're not going to get lost here. We're just going to uh, head back to Dendemil Town. There's nothing that we can do in Castelli City that I really want to do right now. Uh, there's the whole roller skating tricks thing that we can do, and I'll probably do that later. I don't know when, but I will. So let's just head on over to uh, where Route 16 intersects Route 15. Right by where the strength boulder was, and somehow I managed to do that without actually going into the grass and not getting attacked by a wild Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I tried to go here earlier and it didn't work. So might as well just uh, skip it this time. But I had to try again. I had to. I really feel like there should be an item over there. Alright, Dendemil Town, here we come. And it's going to change from being leafy everywhere and just looking like autumn has taken over to um, winter, basically, because this town is full of full of snow. Look at this. I love snow. I really, really do. That's the one biggest thing that I miss uh, now that I live in Texas. It doesn't snow here. I mean, it does a little bit, but it's just like a snowflake or two, and then the instant somebody sees a snowflake, everything just closes down. Like You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. Everything is closed. I'm sorry. I'm just complaining. Um, we're going to buy a whole bunch of Moo Moo Milks here because the price is actually really good as opposed to buying like Hyper Potions or something like that. It restores 100 HP and uh, this is the only place I believe that you can buy them and you can buy it by the dozen here. So I'm just going to buy a whole crap ton of them because I don't want to have to come back here a bunch of times in between episodes or even during episodes to get them and I prefer using these over Hyper Potions anyway. Because a lot of times you don't need all 200 HP to be restored with the Hyper Potions. Uh, you just need the, you know, the 100 HP works out well for you. Or if you want to heal someone up and they're at like half HP, Moo Moo Milk is the way to go. Anyway, in the Pokemon Center here we have Mr. O Power, or Mr. Bonding I think his actual name is. But I always call him Mr. O Power, I don't know why. I don't know why. Accuracy Power is the one that we're getting here, and uh, it is pretty self-explanatory. Like all of the O Powers, it increases your accuracy, and I'm not ever going to use that. Really, really am not. Uh, this person here is going to give us a Citrus Berry. Okay. All right. Not bad. A Deli Bird gave it to me. Okay. Okay. Deli Bird is a terrible Pokemon. It really, really is. But Choice Band with Hustle and, like, Aerial Ace, now that's... I don't know, it has some power behind it. Has some power behind it. So I really want to take Go Lurk out of the PC. I feel like we haven't used it in forever and a half. So do we really need Halucha? I don't know. We can put somebody in the PC. Let's figure it out. Um, who is at a high level? 
Who is at a high level on my team? I guess we're just going to put Whiskers in the PC because he gains levels really fast as opposed to the rest of my team. Everybody's pretty much at level 50. Actually, everybody is at level 50. Golurk does need some experience. It's only at level 45. He kind of fell behind with all those trainers that we fought, uh, the Lost Hotel and the uh, Route 15 and 16 and all that jazz. So we should probably do some exploring here in Denimal Town before we head on over to the Frost Cavern. Now, I don't want to leave town, so that's not the correct way to go. Oh, there's a hidden item over here somewhere. I'm guessing it's in that little dirt area. Um, right to the north of us that we can't jump over the fence. Man, why can't we jump over the fence? That would be awesome. Uh, I keep picking up on hidden items here. I want to find all of the hidden items. Oh, who are you? Oh, the professor. Okay. Hello, Professor Sycamore. How's your journey been going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well. I met many kinds of Pokemon. I don't care. I really don't care what you have to say about that. Uh, do you remember the Pokemon Lysandre mentioned in that cafe? Uh, yes. Kalos' legendary Pokemon is called Eveltal. Or Xerneas, depending on what version that you're playing, of course. They were so overwhelmed by its power, they were only able to say that the Pokemon resembled the letter Y. Apparently, this Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan is said to be a thousand years. When it reaches the end of its life, it steals all of the spirits around it. Now, that is incredibly dark and kind of twisted, but I like it. I really do like it. I think Eveltal is a way cooler legendary than Xerneas is. That's just my opinion. I feel like the whole, like, deer, antelope-ish type Pokemon is just, I don't know, it's not, it's not that great, we had Sawsbuck already, it's just like a glorified Sawsbuck, anyway, uh, Professor and Dexio are heading out here, and here's Trevor, I was hoping, uh, okay, you're going to the Frost Cavern, I don't care what you're hoping for, I, I just don't even want to talk to you, don't even want to talk to you, the Frost Cavern is uh, actually to the north of town, so we're kind of just going to work our way up there, and try to pick up as many things as we can along the way. Big Root is what we're picking up here, which uh, increases the power of uh, leeching moves. So like Giga Drain, Leech Seed, that kind of thing. We are going to pick up a Nugget as well, so we can sell that for some decent moolah. Moolah, moolah, moolah. Now this house is actually very important. Because we have the Move Deleter here on the left. Not this little girl here, but this old guy who looks all fancy in his suit. And then we have the Move Relearner, or Madam Reminder, as she likes to call herself. As long as you have a heart scale, you can teach a Pokemon a move that uh, it should have learned already by whatever level it's at. So we're going to use uh, one of our heart scales now actually on Lucario, because I actually want to teach it Metal Claw. I know I could give it Extreme Speed, but the PP on that is pretty bad. Dragon Pulse, that's silly to teach it that. I could go for Close Combat, but... Don't really want to. Aura Sphere, again, another special move. I really just want to teach it Metal Claw because, um, one, it's Stab. I know it doesn't have a very high base power, and it's kind of a sucky move and all that stuff, but it has a lot of PP, so it's great for dungeons and in-game stuff. And when we Mega Evolve, the adaptability boost is going to make it a little bit more useful. So I think it's actually a much better move for us right now than Bone Rush is. And I also have the Home Claws to increase its accuracy, and power as well, so I'm really just... I'm feeling the Metal Claw. I'm gonna hand her a Heart Scale, which, I mean, they're really not that difficult to come by. They're really not. You can just fish for a Love Disc and use Thief on them. That's pretty much how I farm for her Heart Scales. Now, I'm sure there's other items here in, like, the houses before we head on over to the Frost Cavern, so we're gonna check in these really fast. And I think we'll actually call it an episode before we get there. But uh, nonetheless, if we find 70 or more, we can come back here and talk to that guy. He'll give us something. And I don't know if I'm interested in that. Really don't know if I'm interested in that. I don't think it could be anything that's that wonderful. Now, let's go in this house here. And uh, there's a breeder-looking guy. And Tynamo and Mothum. I, I, what are you even talking about? Most of these people just talk for the sake of talking. There's really not a lot of info that's giving out, given out by a lot of these people. This town is really cool with the windmill and the snow. It's just a really cool atmosphere. Not as cool as Snowbell City. We haven't gotten there yet, but it's just it's really cool. 
Really, really cool. One of my favorite uh, Pokemon towns. Now, we have TM42 here, which is going to be Facade, which is great for Pokemon that have the Guts ability. Um, so, we're talking like Swellow, Luxray, those kinds of Pokemon. Even um, Ursaring gets it as well. Uh, it's actually a great um, asset for Pokemon like Zangoose that has... Um, what does Zangoose have? What is the name of that ability? Toxic Boost. And most of the time they're holding a Toxic Orb, so Facade does extra damage, it gets stabbed, all that stuff. So, pretty cool item here. And we have reached the outskirts of the Frost Cavern. We're not actually in the cave itself, but this area is still considered Frost Cavern. Let's switch our um, items up here. We want Golurk holding the Amulet Coin because he's going to be at the forefront of our party for a majority of this. The downside is that he's weak to ice, so if any of these po Pokemon trainers have, like, ice-type Pokemon, like, I don't know, Sneasel, uh, my day is going to be ruined, basically. Uh, luckily, this hiker here just has uh, one Pokemon. It's going to be the Vibrava, so no ice-type. We can go for the Shadow Punch. He's actually going to outspeed because Golurk is slow as balls. And Shadow Punch should just, yep, it just straight up... Takes out this Vibrava in one hit. Down he goes. So that was a pretty easy battle. I can definitely see an increase in the levels of uh, the Pokemon trainers here. So I don't know if that's necessarily a really good thing for my team or not. Because Golurk is pretty far behind. His five levels is a lot, honestly. Most of my Pokemon stay within two levels or so of each other. There's a Sky Trainer right there. Don't really want to battle him because I kind of can't. I would have to use Hawlucha. And I'm not really interested in doing that. So this Mammoth 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 Swine. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, he is detecting that something is wrong with the Frost Cavern. He's worried about it. He normally just hangs out over on Route 17 and gives people rides through the high snow. But he's not doing that right now. He's worried about what's going on in there. And Trevor is trying to impress this ace trainer here. He's all like, I know all about the Frost Cavern. I know all about Mammoth Swine. I know all about everything because my Pokedex is amazing. All right, so he's going to be uh, accompanying us, I guess, in the Frost Cavern. We're going to see him at least once. It appears as though there's nothing over here. Oh, no, a Sky Trainer. No, I don't. I don't, 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 don't want to battle you. Sorry, I really don't. Hawlucha is not going to... Uh, do anything against your Pokemon, so apparently there's a hidden item. I'm guessing it's down further But uh, anyway, I, we can battle that painter guy, but we're not going to we're not going to right now Maybe I will in the next episode. We're gonna call it an episode here. There's the entrance to the frost cavern So we will be heading in there uh, Next time so I want to thank you all for watching as always Do not forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it because it does help out a lot and I will see you all for the next episode. But until then, game on.